it didn't stop with those 12. It meant that every person that chooses to become a follower of Jesus would be a fisher of men. And I told you just a short while ago also that if you ever been fishing, ain't none of y'all ever caught no clean fish. So you catch them, then you clean them. So you can't even go out there saying, I got to get myself together before I talk to anybody. No. If you really walking with Jesus, it's his responsibility to get yourself together. If you're really serving Jesus, it's his responsibility. If you've been caught by him, if you've given your heart to him, it's up to him to clean you. When y'all when y'all showed me a fish in your frying pan that cleaned himself. When you showed me a fish in your frying pan that cleaned himself. Please invite me to come eat with you. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Because <laughs> I want to see this self cleaning fish. Yeah. Y'all can have me in here. Please invite me when y'all catch some fish that clean themselves. Jumped over in the pan, jumped over into the medium, yeah. jumped over into the season and got themselves ready. Y'all can have me in here. Invite me to eat because I, I want you to just save one of them so I can watch it do. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I want to see fish that clean themselves and get ready to cook. I ain't going to help me preach, but I'm going to go Ooh, real quick. John. John. I, I, John chapter. My brother, God bless you for coming and sharing with us this, this afternoon, this morning. All of you that are here, I thank God for every one of you. I mean, I know God wants to do some great things, amen, moving forward in your life. And I'm praying and believing and that he's absolutely going to do that. But if you have your Bible, I want you to look with me just for a few minutes. John chapter 20, beginning at Verse 5, if you're there, shout yes. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen cloths lying, yet when he not in. Then come Simon Peter following him and went into the sepulcher and see if the linen clothes lie and the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went in also the other disciple, it's talking about John, hallelujah, which came first to the sepulchre, and he saw and believed. For as yet they knew not the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. Then the disciples went away again under their own home, but Mary stood without at the sepulchre weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the sepulchre. And see of two angels in white sitting, and one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had laid. And they saw, and they say unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? And she saith unto him, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. And when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing. <laughs> Before she could turn around and say that Jesus was standing there long, long. Y'all didn't say nothing back to me, Lord God. I, mean, I know some of y'all may have stayed up late and watched a horror movie last night, but hallelujah, this would have been like a horror movie if, 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 if some of y'all don't understand. But Jesus was standing behind Mary when she looked in the tombs to, to get enough trouble, where trouble to drive you to go look for him. 
Oh, y'all gonna help me preach it. So I say happy Easter. Uh, uh, the thing about Easter, the, 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 y'all got to realize this is a time of Easter. This is what Easter was about. Easter was that they had taken the Savior, the King of Glory, the blind eyes, and pulling out demons out of people's uh, bodies and, and causing legs to get well, and, and people that had palsy and cancers, glory to God, fevers, all kind of problems and ailments. This the same Jesus that they had just healed. Every time I think about that, I say, man, somebody was doing so much good. Why would anybody want to kill somebody when everything that they were doing was good? Man, it, you got to be dealing with somebody bad when you're doing everything good and they still want to kill you. Y'all didn't get me in here. It, it, it is really astounding to me. Y'all ain't ever treated somebody good and they just stand the dog in you out. You, you ain't never run into a situation where you did all you could do good toward them and they were still killing your name. Uh, come on. Killing your stuff. Yeah. Every effort you made to be nice to them, they made every effort to be mean to you hit your neighbor and say, that's just like Jesus. Amen. Easter. Easter time. They waited till the Passover to take out their anger, their hostilities, their hate on perfect good. Amen. Y'all ain't saying that. So that's the reason why you ever notice sometimes holidays people get to acting crazy with one another. Y'all ain't never notice that some people are spoiling your holiday. Y'all ain't saying that it ain't. Yeah, I know, I know. Let me keep going. I, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother message right there. Oh, yeah. Right, let me get off. But the Bible says that when Mary turned around, y'all still with me just for a second. I'm going real quick. And when she, verse 14, and when she thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing and knew not that it was Jesus. She's looking for Jesus, Nick. And she run right into Jesus. And don't let, don't let nothing get you so far down. Hit somebody, don't let no woman, don't let no man get you so far down. Man, don't you let no woman get you so far down. That when Jesus show up, you can't see him. Y'all better hear me in here, glory to God. I, can, I ain't got but a second or two more to go. Hallelujah. And Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seek ye? And she, supposing him to be the gardener, saith unto him, Sir, if thou have born him hence, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. And Jesus saith unto her, Mary. She turned herself and saith unto him, Raboni, which is the same master. And Jesus said unto her, touch me not. Why well, I'm not yet ascended. I gotta stop like that. But I want to challenge y'all to catch this sequence. Because Mary is looking for Jesus, man, and she's desperate to find him. All the other disciples and all the other followers have gone back. They are convinced. They said John, John, the youngest of the disciples, believed that Jesus had risen. So they didn't have trouble believing that he was risen, but obviously Mary did. Because she keeps asking even Jesus, if you know where y'all laid it, that means that she still sees him on the cross. Oh, y'all, they got to beat you except he be sent. Jesus is standing in the room, in the tomb room, in the place on the cross where she still sees him on the cross. And it does not occur to her with her eyes that this is the master. She got to hear it. And she looking at it with her eyes. I know y'all 
I see it, see it, and believe it, and I got to repeat it again. I know y'all say seeing is believing, but the Bible says hearing is believing. Here's another example of it. You can go to Luke chapter 24, and there are two disciples that leave after hearing this story, and they're walking on their way to a town called Emmaus. It's over in Luke chapter 24. One of the men's name is Cleophas, and Cleophas and another brother are walking down to Emmaus, and Jesus, a stranger, walks up on them, and they can't even see him. He's walking with them, and they walk for miles, getting on down to the town of Emmaus. And then, because it's late at night, it's getting dark, they ask Jesus to come in and stay with them for a little while and eat. Hallelujah. Uh, but they don't recognize it as Jesus. Touch a neighbor and say, you're going to have to get your spiritual eyes open up and your spiritual ears are going to have to uh, uh, begin to hear, glory to God. And if you're sitting in the room, glory to God, and you know, y'all, you know, y'all, I told you about Coach last week when he put the F on my paper and said, Randy, glory to God, you didn't read the book, so you get an F for not reading the book, glory to God. And he had given me an A initially, but when he asked me, Sister Teresa, did I read the book, I was bold enough to be honest out of my mouth and said no sir I did not read the book and he put an F on my paper for three weeks <laughs> until he decided that honesty was better than lying oh y'all got to help me I, I, I got to get ready to go but, but the story goes that uh, the two men bring Jesus in and sit at the table and then they put bread before him. Jesus took the bread. This is how they recognized him because, hallelujah, hallelujah, he sits them at the table and he took the bread and broke the bread and blessed the bread with his uh, prayer and began to hand it out to them. And the Bible says that when they recognized that he took the bread like they had seen at the Lord's Supper and like they had seen countless times before, uh, they still didn't recognize the Jesus that was walking with them, but they recognized his action. Hallelujah. He took the bread, broke the bread, passed the bread around to him and prayed for it. And the Bible says then their eyes were opened and Jesus disappears out of fear. Now hit your neighbor and say he's not on the cross. I got to get ready to go now. But y'all come on, I'm finna go now. Uh, but uh, over in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, I believe it's around verse 54 and 55. It speaks to